I didn't think the whole uh, knight in, in, in shining armor riding in with a white horse and uh, standing underneath balconies and, and all that stuff and, you know, and uh, to, uh, you know, to shower women with po uh, rose petals as they walk, you know, into a, a room. I mean, I just never, I just thought, you know, that's just movies, right? That's just made for movies. doing today? Hey everyone, good morning and uh, I hope your day is going well. This is C. Savan and, uh, my, and uh, yes, my beautiful wife right next to me there and uh, you know we're so happy. This is going to be a fun, uh, fun topic we're going to talk about today and uh, this follows our series uh, that's titled uh, What Ruined Your Marriage and uh, the topic we're going to discuss today is the topic of romance. Romance. So uh, this definitely um, ruined our marriage. Uh, it doesn't anymore because there's more romance. But um, before, it definitely ruined uh, our marriage because I did not have the romance. Right? I just never, for some reason, I didn't. I didn't think the whole uh, knight in, in in shining armor riding in with a white horse and uh, standing underneath balconies and and all that stuff. And you know, and uh, to uh, you know to shower women with po uh, rose petals as they walk, you know, into a, a room. I mean, I just never, I just thought, you know, that's just movies, right? That's just made for movies. And, and unfortunately for men, the men out there, um, the people who watch these movies are the women. Yes. So if that's how they're Absolutely conditioned, right. <laughs> if that's how they're conditioned, uh, they're going to believe that. They're going to believe that that's, <laughs> that, that's they're that's gonna why they, that's that's, the movie sells. Yes. Uh, yeah. Look, you look at the movie Titanic, right? I mean, what, what was it made? Like 18 years ago, honey? It was 18 yep. years ago. And, and it's selling. We actually just bought it the other night because our, our son wanted to, to watch it. And he was like, oh, my God, Jack. You know, and, his, and he's a six-year-old. He's like, uh, it, it was amazing. But anyways, um, and, uh, but, you know, romance is, is, is very, very important, uh, gentlemen. It. You know, what's, what's crazy about this particular topic is, um, you know, for the men, I'm speaking to the men out there because I, I lived it, right? Um, this is an area of our life. This is one of the reasons why we spend so much time as men on our bodies or even relationships with our children, our career, right? Um, friends, you know, than this particular uh, area. Why? Because we, that's where we feel the most confident. That's where we feel the most in control, right? Because <clears throat> it's something that we didn't learn, something that we did, wasn't taught, right? But the women were taught that. They went to the school of romantic movies, right? We did not. And we weren't. We were like action packed, sci-fi, you know, Star Wars, Marvel, DC comics. That's, that's, our, that's our version of you know, uh, romance is when, you know, Thor gives, you know, the Hulk uh, a hug, you know what I mean? That's, that's our romance. And, and ultimately women went to a different world, right? They went to a different school than us. And, and we, you know, men, we got to step up in this, in this area. And, and definitely I did not, um, I did not step up in this area. Yes. For the past, uh, you know, um, we have been together for about 16 years for the past 14 years. Again, I'm a lover. I always want to make sure that my husband is happy. So all the movies that we watch, you know, literally he was like, hey, do not give me romance. I don't watch romance. So I watch romance myself, right? Yeah. Uh, every time I watch with him, it's always, you know, the CIA movie, you know, the action pack, right? Just, you know, the movie will start with a conspiracy theory and then, you know, a bunch of guns is slinging out, you know, and then a lot of people die and, you know, they say, yeah, and, 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 they're, they're, it's, and great. Again, it's great, you know, nothing wrong with that, nothing but, wrong. Uh, you know, but they, those movies doesn't educate you how to save your marriage, how to Perfect. treat your wife right. Yes. We actually just watched a romantic movie last night and I learned a ton from it. And, and quite honestly, it was actually it's a funny movie. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. But yes, Phyllis said it right. It's, it's about learning. It's about growing, right? Why we don't, you know, watch that because, you know, some men, yeah, this is an area of their life that they don't master. This is an area of their life that we, we dabble. Most men, not saying all men, but most men, right? That's, to be honest here, man. We do. I was one of them. I did not master this area of my life. I'm mastering it now. 
for sure, right? There's things that I do. And why, what ends up happening is uh, when you do this, when you add the romantic piece to your marriage, uh, you know, there's more, right? Who doesn't want more? Who doesn't want more love, more connection with your wife, uh, a happier wife, right? And who doesn't want more intimacy? Who doesn't want more, you know, emotional connection? Who doesn't want more of everything in life that you get, the, the little hand massages by your wife? Those things happen when you add these other elements like romance to it. So I definitely uh, enjoy romantic movies and it's not, it's not a chick flick. It's, it's, you know, look, it's, you're going to learn. Not anymore. He was, yeah. but not yeah. anymore. He changed his and you, mind. He changed and you can still watch the CIAs, you know, and all that movie. Like I still love those. I love CIA I movies. I love them too, honey. Yeah. I yeah. And my them. wife loves them too. But yes, there's, you know, you got to incorporate a little bit more in your life in that yeah. area. But and so, if you uh, love it so far, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, comment below, you know, what is the, you know, the action pack movie that you really love yes. and what is the romantic movie that you really enjoy? Yeah. And then what are some romantic tips that you have for us, right? We would love, we would love to learn. We're going to share with you two tips today, but what, what do you do that lights your, you know, your partner up and men and women, right? There are some things that women do to the husband. What, what do you do that my wife can learn? Right. And what, what do you do men that man, I can learn. I, I want to know, you know, I, I don't, the only Romeo that I knew was, uh, you know, was uh, Jet Li's movie, Romeo Must Die. That's only Romeo, <laughs> Romeo that I, so if you're a Romeo, let us know. You'll be the number two Romeo in my life. But, um, but anyways, so here are the, so the topic today is romance, right? And the, type, the tips for you is this, uh, uh, date your partner, right? Uh, like for me, date my wife. And, and what does date my wife mean? It's not about just setting up and scheduling a date night. I'm talking about every single day dating her, right? Yes. Courting her. Yes. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, Jim, uh, you know, it's kind of like this, right? Uh, Peter Drucker in business, he talks about business. The core function of, of a business is to innovate and to market, right? So if you really yes. want to grow and run a successful business, the two fundamental areas of a business is innovation and marketing, yep. right? Yep. And if you look at every business, Facebook, all the, 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 the fan, the fan, fan stocks, right? Facebook, yes. Amazon, Netflix, those guys innovate, those guys market, right? Yes. So a marriage is the same way. You got to innovate. You got to market to your partner, yep. right? You have to do it. And, and, and it's not even have to like, Oh my God, I got to do it. It's fun. It's, it's, it's amazing, right? The return, the return on your investment, on your time of doing it is amazing. You just get more. And uh, date your wife means you got, you court her. Why not? You did it at the beginning. Why change? Why, why, where does it say in life that what you had at the beginning, you won't have later? What you have at the beginning should actually grow stronger if you do it right. It should go stronger every single day right? That newness, that fuzzy, those butterflies, they should just grow bigger. You should have bigger butterflies. You should have feel more newness, right? Everything. So date your wife. And some of the things that I do, right? Um, you know, flowers is a good example. I don't just get her flowers, right? I, I find out the ones that she loves, um, you know, and, and I, I, I always put my, you know, put her first, quite honestly. And that's how I date her every day, right? Like yesterday, we were so busy. We had a busy schedule, we were a little bit behind. I saw her go in the room. She jumped on the call. I'm hearing her with, you know, all live, just crushing it with her team. And I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to make her, I'm going to make her lunch, right? I'm going to, I'm going to go and make her lunch, right? That's a part of dating your wife. Why? Because when I give that to her, she's like, oh my God, because that's what I would have done at the beginning. So why wouldn't I do that now? And then when I, when we do go on a date, for example, I don't just say, hey, like, yeah, you want to go see a movie today, right? And it's like, Oh my God, this, there's this great movie. Let's do it. Let's go here. Let's go do this. And, and sometimes, a lot of times, dating wife is thinking back, you know, what, you know, let's say you visited someplace, right? Before when you dated, where, where at that moment in time, the love, the passion was so high, right? It was so, you were so passionate. You were so in love. Bring her back to those type of moments, that type of time. Oh, do you remember that when we went here? Like when we go back to Minnesota, we, I, I love going back to places that we were, we used to, cause that's when we first dated, yeah. you know, like, you know, oh, remember we came here to eat and you were like this and I was like that. And, you know, I, I was a lot more thinner than this than I am now, you know, you know, all that, you know, crazy stuff, but it brings those uh, feelings back. So, you know, date your, date your, your partner and, and date your wife, date your husband. 
Yeah, so Phyllis? Yes, um, for me, you know, my first tip is um, the wife out there, pick a movie that really echo with you. You know, think about the end in life, right? What is that story that you really, really enjoy? And what does the guy do? So instead of you telling your husband how you want to be treated, well, watch a movie with them. You know, um, you know, watch a movie with them. Uh, growing up, I'm kind of like a Cinderella, you know, uh, you know, I do all the laundry dishes and all that fun stuff. So, you know, Cinderella story, you know, a lot of the Cinderella story, I love it. I enjoy it because I envision this night, right, to come and save my day, right? And, um, and uh, it was, that, was, uh, that was amazing. And, and by the way, you know, Cinderella story, uh, you know, like the theme of the story, you know, any movie that have Cinderella story, it's usually uh, number one or number two sales. I don't know whether you know that or not, but a lot of uh, Cinderella story theme, uh, they always sell. Uh, but, you know, pick a movie, pick a movie that uh, how you like to be treated, you know, how how do you feel you should be um, and how you want your love life to be like. And, um, you know, because there's obviously if you really love that movie is obviously something echo with you. Like uh, I know I, I love like the, you know, the fa failure to launch. Obviously, I love Titanic. I watched it like five times when I was growing up. So I was, you know, re lifted with my husband. And he's like, oh, OK, you know. It's cheesy but rich, right? Cheesy but love, right? Uh, you know, sometimes we just want to feel special. You know, again, it's not something that the, the men would do, but when they do it, we appreciate so much and we feel so much love and you know what you're going to get. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, so what, if, what about your tip number two? Yes. And, uh, you know, and my, my tip number two is add some variety to your relationship, right? Um, and you know, when you do these things, right, when you, uh, when you date your wife, when you add variety to the, your relationship, um, what the feeling that she gets is that you're loved, that she's loved, right? That's, that's the ultimate thing here. It, the acts of doing those things, she feels loved. It, with acts of her doing things like what she just described makes me feel loved. And ultimately, you know, it, it basically helps us, you know, move forward. It helps us make progress in our marriage. And, so my, my second tip is variety, add variety to the relationship. Uh, a good example of this is my, my wife, she loves like, she loves food, like street food type stuff, right? Like uh, if we went yes. to Asia, she loves the street, the, the street guys, right? The, the, yes, the street right. food, they cook on the street. Taiwan, yeah, Taiwan, Taiwan, Thailand. She loves those little finger food type, type of things. So yes. I always make it an effort, right? On our date nights or like when we go out today, one of the things that I do is I actually look, the area we're going, I actually look up for, any type of new restaurant, small little restaurants or little things like that to, to bring us to. Why? Because it lights her up, especially if it's, yes. if it's good, right? And it's new and we're not going to the same old spots. And there's a, there's a lot of times where we do go to the same spots, but I always make an effort to go someplace new. So this way she's, she, she goes and she loves it. And then the, the key is, again, going back to it, when I do that, she feels loved, right? Yes. When I do that, she feels loved. Uh, and it doesn't have to be big things all the time. Variety is great because you can do small little things. Variety is small little things, yep. right? That, that you can do daily, weekly, monthly, and that don't cost a lot of money. It's just effort. It's just small yep. effort, right? Taking to new places, getting the new foods, visiting new places, you know, I mean meeting it. new people, learning new things. That's all variety, right? Doing new things like, you know, yes. like my wife doesn't, hasn't, uh, we've been to get married now uh, 16 years together and, and uh, you know, she hasn't ride a bike. One day I'm going to go pick up a bike and that's a, that's a variety, right? Because yes. we haven't done it. And, uh, you know, going out for walking on trails, like it's, it's a variety thing. So add the variety in your life. Do, do things that you don't commonly normally do, okay? Yes, again, you know, just figure out, you know, how, how he or she want to be treated and figure out really, you know, communicate well and figure out what, what romance is to you, you know? When's the last time you have a romance talk? You know, hey, what's romance to you? You know, how do you want me to treat you romantically so that, you know, you feel like you are, you know, a, you know, a, a flower, right? You know, you're, you're blossoming, you know? Yes. Uh, so for me, you know, uh, romance, uh, I just wanted to, you know, uh, give a tip to, to the wife. You know, I know that a lot of time men does not really like to talk as much because talking, communicating is our thing. We love to talk. We love to communicate. So sometimes, you know, to them is, uh, you know, that's why, you know, I think a lot of times they brought up movies uh, because, you know, they really enjoy just you sitting next to them. We don't communicate, but we're just watching a movie or doing something together. 
And that just gives them peace of mind because they're not, they have to be alert all the time. You know, they're almost as like they're in their cave. They're feeling calm and collective, but yeah. you are right next to them. That is uh, a romance to them. Is that, is that right, honey? hundred percent. You know, a lot of times my wife would just come if I'm on the couch or in bed watching something or if I'm going to turn something on, or sometimes she encourages me to turn something on. I don't do as, as often because I'm, I'm, I'm quite busy and I got a lot of things on my mind. I keep going. But when I do do it, that's, I notice that's one of the things that she really does. And it does light me up. She'll come and just lay next to me with her tablet or she's got some earphones listening to something or say, and she just sits there with me next to me, laying on my lap or leaning up against me or grabbing my hand like she did last night and, and uh, putting lotion on it and massaging it. And as I'm watching a movie, so uh, it, it just, it does, it does light us up. It lights me up for sure. And most men I think are that, are that way. And yes, and uh, and wife out there, I also wanted to say, you know, this is one thing that I really changed, and I think we we will dive into it, you know, on the next uh, episode here, uh, which is, uh, you know, tell them exactly what you want and how you want it. Yes. Remember, uh, they are a big shot, right? They are um, they're go getter, you know. They do a lot of big things. Sometimes they might forget about the little thing. Just cut them a break, but tell them exactly what you want. Because if you talk about running business, solving a problem, they're very good at it. But they're really not really good at really understanding what we are thinking and how we want it. Just yeah. tell them directly and then also encourage them. You know, don't slap them like, oh, man, I don't like this flower. Why would you buy me this flower? Why yeah. if you slap them, that means that they don't get paid. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're going to feel discouraged and they're not going to do it again. Then you're going to slap them again and say, why didn't you do it, right? Yep. So, you know sometimes treat them like your kids you know i think that's the best thing to do you know love them unconditionally love them you know you know but tell them tell them exactly what you want how you want it so that way they know because they will die for you you know if they're really in love with you which i know they are <laughs> they will die for you so it's easy for them to do, do all these little things it's just sometimes you know again you know they're not taught they're not inspired you know they just don't yeah. know how so yeah, you, know, it's not just, you know just just let them know, communicate with them, encourage them, you know. Um, I think that will be the greatest romance that you can give the guy too. Yeah, remember, this is an area of our life as men that we're not, we re rarely ran, uh, you know, master. Most men don't. And yeah. it's, it, sometimes it could come off like we don't care, but it's not that we don't care. It's just yeah. we don't know. We don't know. So if you tell us, we're going to take it. Trust me, we, we're great learners. Men are great learners and doers. You know, we always want to protect. Every man has it in them to step up and always want to protect, to provide, uh, you know, for their woman. Every man has this, but if you don't bring that out, you always want to kill that, 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 uh, that, you know, that, that type of that warrior within them, that, that, that sovereign, that king within them, they're not going to come out. Right. So yes, tell them, tell them. So again, uh, really enjoy this uh, guys. Really. Thank you very much for, for listening again, our, the, you know, the title is what ruined uh, your marriage and, and uh, romance was definitely the topic today was uh, that romance that definitely ruined my marriage at one point. And, and uh, you know, we have turned it around because I'm a lot more romantic. Right. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to go get a tattoo Romeo on my arm. Um, but, you know, romance and it's very important. And then the two tips that we had was, you know, date, date your wife. Right. Date your partner. And add, the second thing was add variety into your relationship, add variety. So do the little small things uh, that will go, go a long way. Yes. And my two tips is obviously, you know, encourage, communicate with your husband of exactly what you want. And uh, another active is, uh, you know, another tip is obviously, you know, grab that movie that you really like and echo with you and, you know, get, make them watch it with you so that they know, you know, what you want, how you want it. And why would that movie, if you add that, main character you know you're gonna have a lot of butterfly and love you know within you yes but that's it so, you know i know we have yeah. about 20 minutes in uh, we're just a little bit too excited but again you know we are gonna you know give you a ton of value uh, a ton of uh, you know uh, uh insight we'll love you to you know learn from uh you know uh teach us to you we would love to learn from you comment below let us know what you're what you're up to you know where you are how do you find romance in your life you know when when you don't have romance you know how did it affect you just tell us you know communicate with us you know we'll love yes. to learn from you yes like our uh like our video you know subscribe to our channel and share share us with the world okay if you know somebody who this is going to impact their life this is going to be uh, funny or value added or man, these two couple are really cool. You can get to know us, like just share us. Okay. We, we just, we want to add value. We just want to help, you know, we want to end suffering. 
Really, yes. that's really what it is. We just want to end suffering. So uh, thank you very much for listening. We love you very, very much. We're going to, you know, uh, be here, you know, every single day. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.